All right, we just got done diagnosing the LG front load washer that uh, turns on and just makes a growling sound and does nothing else. Uh, it seems like it needs a new drain pump. I set it into um, diagnostics and everything performed fine, except when you come to the drain, it didn't drain and just made the vibrating and the growling sound. Um, check the stand, the pipe was at the right level. Uh, everything was good. Uh, went underneath, looked for clogs. There were no clogs, so we're ordering her a new LG drain pump. And we'll come back in a couple days and install it, and we'll get that on video for you, too. Get out and get it. To prevent leaks, turn off the water supply. And come around back and unplug the machine to prevent electrocution. Next, with some channel locks, loosen the cold water. Finish unscrewing by hand. When taking the hose off, be careful not to spill water. I put the hose here in the standpipe for the drain pump. Same thing on the hot water side, being careful not to spill water when you remove the hose, putting it in a bucket or the standpipe. After removing the two hoses, tilt the machine back and open the little access door in the bottom and remove the two screws right here. Removing the two screws allows you to remove the facade and gain access to three screws that hold the drain pump in place. When I opened it up, I noticed the screws were missing and the coin catch opening was out of alignment. So I checked underneath over here and I noticed that the screw holding it down here is in place. At least one of them is. So I unscrewed that one. Then I came around underneath the machine and pulled the pump loose. Unplug the wire harness here. This is the new pump. Remove the three screws holding the old pump to the pump housing. When removing the old pump, be prepared for water to come out. I had previously vacuumed and purged the coin trap of all the water, so there wasn't much here, but usually more comes out. Check out the old pump. It's all loose, and there's no resistance on the prop at all. It's just all loosey-goosey. Let's get that new pump in there. Align the screw holes on the new pump with the holes in the pump housing, then drive the three screws home. After securing the pump to the pump housing, reconnect the wire harness. When repositioning the drain pump, you have to feed the drain hose for the coin catch through the little hole. It helps to use two hands, one from underneath and one from the front, pulling the drain hose through. Remember before I pointed out that the three screws that were supposed to be holding the pump in place in the front were missing? Well, I didn't have too much extra hardware in my bucket. I only found one quarter inch sheet metal screw. And I used that sheet metal screw where the original one was holding it down underneath. And I ratcheted it tight into place. In place of one of the missing screws on the front, I used one of the original two screws that held the facade in the place. Making sure to feed the drain tube through the hole, I put the facade back in place. Next, using the remaining of the two screws, I secured the facade to the body of the machine.
I took the original screw used to mount the pump from underneath and put it through this mounting hole in the side. Now I had the drain pump secured from three points. Afterwards, I spoke with the homeowner and I recommended a follow-up visit to reattach all the proper hardware. When reconnecting the water supply lines, first tightening by hand. When final tightening with the dikes, make sure not to over tighten so you don't strip the plastic parts. I turn the water supply lines back on, then plug the machine in, then came around front and put it in a service diagnostics mode. To put it in service diagnostics mode, press the two middle buttons and the power button at the same time. From diagnostics mode, I manually filled the machine with water and put it into a slight wash cycle, then manually forced it into a drain. The sweet sound of a good working LG washer drain pump. Music to my ears. If you found this content useful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, maybe your mom's machine broke, and then don't forget to subscribe. Get out and get some people. It's a beautiful day.